Hello friends, and uh, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. So here today I'm going to teach you how to change the gestures of your avatar. Right now we have the basic Yuri in front of us. Don't worry about that uh, basic pride flag in the background. Uh, the clip after this one was recorded before this one, and I realized that I have to re-record uh, this entire clip because of the fact that it got deleted. Well, not deleted. What am I saying? The audio got doubled over, and uh, that was painful. And uh, didn't it made the video basically unwatchable? I could not. Um, I did not even want to edit it because the audio was going twice. That would not be fun to listen to for a tutorial. So let's jump right into it. Um, so. You're going to change the gestures of your avatar. Now, there are several things you can do. Um, one of the best things that I realized that you could do was change uh, something to a blend shape. To where you have two animations that uh, the gesture will go through. This is really good for creating um, what some people would call the pressure grip, where you can um, close gradually, like your hands and stuff like that. So, um, let's go take a look at the, um, the basic, sorry, those are all the animations, but here's the gesture. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at this thing and it's called the fist blend, right? And this is the fist blend specifically for the left hand. Um, let's just say if you apply the, uh, if you apply this left hand fist blend to the right hand on, say, Lace It or Go Go Loco or something like that, when you do your left hand, it'll do them both at the same time, which is not necessarily what you want. You generally want to um, take stuff. Now, since Lace It is usually a different set of hand gestures, like all these, you would have to go in and manually, oh, good, since I updated Lace It recently, I actually have to show this off. Okay, so, this says proxy hands idle, it'll look odd compared to, um, compared to the normal one, so, that is typically the one that I have idle set to for my Yuri's is uh, idle one frame because if I have it set to not idle one frame and just the hands idle the hands have a weird moving gesture and it doesn't necessarily look right when I do it for this one you don't want um, you don't want whatever, but let me go grab, what is it? Yeah, gesture equals one. Yeah. What you're going to do is if you need to grab a specific one, and we'll do left hand first. You're going to grab fist, press control C, since it's already got the blend shape. And since the blend shape's not really findable it's just easier to copy and paste if you have a um another gesture from somewhere else so this one says fist zero but it's got the fist blend on it what we're gonna do is we're going to um so it was supposed to be one idle zero fist is one Um, open is two, this is three. So all these are in order. This one's supposed to be one. So what I do is I do that, take the transition, make it gesture left, uh, equals one. Equals one. Um, delete this one specifically. And so after you 
finish messing with the settings to tweak it exactly like the others, which, you know, make sure that you do check on so that this one looks the same as the other gestures in the same set. Um, yeah, basically go back and forth between the two to copy each and every single um, animation possible for the gestures specifically. So right hand now, fist. Do is we're going to back. Right hand. Down this one. Position. Like that. Okay, and that's supposed to be a gesture, right one. Since this is an integer, it makes sense. Make sure that my left one doesn't have exit time, but can go instantly. This one should be fine to delete. That one, that one should be the left one. Okay, um, next thing we're going to change is we're going to change this one. Second one is the gestures. Um, Sometimes you have to figure out which one is and isn't the gestures. So, one that would be the second one. And what I'm doing to make sure that um, that I'm grabbing the right one instead of the, because there's two ones. This one is from the effects layer, which goes to the face. This one is from the gesture layer, which goes obviously to the hands. So it'd be funny if you were doing peace sign, but your hand wasn't actually doing peace sign. It was just your face being uh, doing something. Yeah, the Yuri's middle finger is called rock and roll. So, you know, it makes sense. Um, typically the ones that are spaced out there are the gestures as well. So for finger gun and thumbs up, you want to go for the uh, bottom one if you are doing it on an avatar that has more than just one singular uh, thing. So see how there's two different ones? You want to grab the one that says gesture. And make sure you do it for the other hand as well. This one's gesture. Yeah, grab the uh, second one. Make sure you just continue to go through. And grab the right gestures. Uh, when you're applying it to a specific gesture controller. And that should be basically all you need for um, to change the gestures. In case you have uh, a specific part that doesn't match up correctly. So yeah, now we'll send it back to past Aqua to uh, finish up an explainer. So see you there. Well, friends, uh, so as you can see, um, you know, the tutorial portion of this was uh, rather quick, but uh, I, I do mean to assure you that that's not the end of the video. Um, so, uh, there are several reasons why you would want to change your gestures, right? So, if you would want to change your gestures, you would you'd want to do it because they aren't 
either consistent, the, like they aren't the ones that you want. For instance, on all of my Yuri's, which I do in fact have a rainbow of now, meaning that I have every single color, at least that I define as like a full rainbow. I got red, orange, yellow, um, green, blue, I skipped indigo because it's basically blue, like like a really dark blue, and then violet. So I got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, white, and black. This is obviously my black Eerie. Um, has red accents because this was red, the flower was already red, and plus I thought that the uh, this looked nice. So, yeah, but um, as for why you would want to change gestures, uh, the normal Yuri's hand animation looks weird if I have my hand sitting at idle, which is technically what this gesture is called. It's called idle. This is called hands open. This is called idle, where you have your fingers resting on the triggers. When your hands are at idle, they do a hand animation, and it's kind of like bleh. Index users don't have to deal with that, but um, anybody on a on a quest quest two on HTC platform, anything that doesn't have full finger hand tracking, that like you can move your fingers individually, that's where you have to worry about um, not being, um, you know, not being used. So yeah. But here's another reason why you would maybe want to change your gestures. So you, you know, go to lace it, right? Then you go to do lay down, right? And so the default gesture for for VR chat when you do trigger and uh buttons like where you fully squeeze the trigger and have your hands only on the buttons but not on the grip it gives you the rock and roll sign that would be normally fine right except for the fact that uh yuri's come with a middle finger so since the gestures don't match that is a reason why you may want to change the gestures and may want to uh, change them up or go ahead and edit them yourselves. Um, I am sick. I did catch the Rona. It is a little bit unfortunate. I have been a little bit unmotivated, but I guess I can blame Rona on that. Um, so, yeah, I got the laryngitis. I'm not feeling good. Just kidding, I don't actually have laryngitis. The only thing I have is that stupid, stupid bug that was going around uh, affecting everybody. But that is how you change gestures. Uh, if you feel like this has helped you, um, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, oh, and uh, be sure you get subscribed. Um, I hopefully have more uh, Unity tutorials coming in the works. And... Uh, uh, leaving a like would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching. I'll hopefully see you in the next video.